Welcome to another Gavin's Painting Tips. This is number 18. In this study, I start off with developing a no-tan, which is a black and white sketch. It's a Japanese word. It's good to draw in black and white a lot and to study works of the old Impressionist artist, Edgar Payne and Van Gogh, to see what they did with no tan. I begin by loosely blocking in darkest tones with a small brush in this case, but I would use a larger brush. If you're painting on a larger painting, use bigger brushes. In this case, I just used the number two flat and started finding out exactly where I wanted some of the uh, light lights to go right away. There's a lot of drawing and landscape, so it's good to keep an astute eye and awareness on drawing, all the while keeping a tonal understanding of light to dark and, and warm to cool temperature variations. As you can see, I'm still using a very limited palette, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue, white, orange. This is my favorite stage because at this point all the white or all the underpainting has been blocked in with tone and I can start now playing with uh, the paint and trying to figure out how the light hits it and in which harmonious way it's going to uh, unify the scene. If it's going to be warm or if it's going to be primarily cool. Later go into it with a glaze after it's been dried with a little bit of liquid and go over it with a tiny bit of burnt sienna or a little bit of a cerulean or a mix of the two to, to adjust and to chroma up the balance of the painting. It needs to be dry for a few weeks before you try to do any glazing techniques though. This is where it gets a little more sensitive and you keep what you like and go over what's not there and make things better that were good before too. So it's a lot of uh, blind faith right here. So here I use a number one brush and I start to pull out some of the fine detail. The reason why I use a limited palette is because that's what's in nature is red, blue, and yellow. And the mixture of all those, if you hew them out or mix them in variations, you can get any color you want. The understanding of planes is very important as well. After reading Edgar Payne's book when I was younger, I noticed what he was talking about with the highest white key being the sky. The glare is a light bulb. Don't mind that. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe for more. Have a wonderful day and keep on painting.